Given one trigonometric ratio, find the exact values of the other five trigonometric ratios. State the reference angle and the standard position angle to the nearest hundredth of a radian. In part A, we have cos theta equals negative 12 over 13, and the angle theta must be between pi and 3 pi over 2. The domain tells us that the angle we are trying to find must be in quadrant 3, between 180 degrees and 270 degrees. The cosine ratio can be used to draw the sides of a triangle. Recall that cos theta is adjacent over hypotenuse. The adjacent value is negative 12, and the hypotenuse, which is always positive, is 13. Use the Pythagorean theorem to find the opposite side. The Pythagorean theorem is x squared plus y squared equals r squared. The adjacent side is negative 12, so plug this in for x. The hypotenuse is 13, so plug this in for r. This gives us 144 plus y squared equals 169. Subtract 144 from each side of the equation to isolate y squared. This gives us y squared equals 25. Square root each side of the equation to get y equals plus or minus 5. Choose y equals negative 5, since y values are negative in quadrant 3. Now that we know all three sides of the triangle, we can state the six trigonometric ratios. Sine theta equals negative 5 over 13. Cos theta equals negative 12 over 13. Tan theta equals negative 5 over negative 12, which becomes 5 over 12. Cosecant theta is equal to 13 over negative 5. This is the reciprocal of sine theta. Secant theta is equal to 13 over negative 12. This is the reciprocal of cos theta. Cotan theta is equal to negative 12 over negative 5, which becomes 12 over 5. This is the reciprocal of tan theta. Now we need to find the reference angle. Which trigonometric ratio should we pick to get the reference angle? Try to select a trigonometric ratio that is positive when finding the reference angle. This will avoid getting angles that are negative or larger than 90 degrees. Recall that reference angles are always between 0 degrees and 90 degrees. In this example, We'll use tan theta equals 5 over 12 to solve for theta. Isolate theta by taking the inverse tan of each side. This gives us a reference angle, theta equals 22.62 degrees. Position the reference angle within the triangle. The standard position angle is found by adding the reference angle to 180 degrees. This gives us 202.62 degrees. The question asks for angles to the nearest hundredth of a radian, so convert each degree to a radian decimal. Multiply 22.62 degrees by the conversion multiplier pi over 180 degrees to get 0 0.39 radians. And finally, multiply 202.62 degrees by the conversion multiplier pi over 180 degrees to get 3.54 radians.
In part b, we have cosecant theta equals 7 over 3, and the angle theta must be between pi over 2 and pi. The domain tells us that the angle we are trying to find must be in quadrant 2, between 90 degrees and 180 degrees. The cosecant ratio can be used to draw the sides of a triangle. Recall that cosecant theta is hypotenuse over opposite. The hypotenuse, which is always positive, is 7, and the opposite value is 3. Use the Pythagorean theorem to find the opposite side. The Pythagorean theorem is x squared plus y squared equals r squared. The opposite side is 3. Plug this in for y. The hypotenuse is 7. Plug this in for r. This gives us x squared plus 9 equals 49. Subtract 9 from both sides of the equation to isolate x squared. This gives us x squared equals 40. Square root both sides to get x equals plus or minus root 40. Root 40 can be simplified to a mixed radical. 40 is the same as 4 times 10. The square root of 4 is 2, and root 10 can't be simplified further. Since x values are negative in quadrant 2, choose the negative sign. The value of x is negative 2 times root 10. Now that we know all three sides of the triangle, we can state the six trigonometric ratios. Sine theta equals 3 over 7. Cos theta equals negative 2 times root 10 over 7. Tan theta equals 3 over negative 2 root 10. Cosecant theta equals 7 over 3. This is the reciprocal of sine theta. Secant theta equals 7 over negative 2 root 10. This is the reciprocal of cosine theta. Cotan theta equals negative 2 times root 10 over 3. This is the reciprocal of tan theta. We should rationalize the denominator for tan theta and secant theta. For tan theta, multiply the numerator and denominator by root 10 to get 3 root 10 over negative 20. For secant theta, multiply the numerator and denominator by root 10 to get 7 root 10 over negative 20. Now we need to find the reference angle. Which trigonometric ratio should we pick to get the reference angle? Try to select a trigonometric ratio that is positive when finding the reference angle. In this example, we'll use sine theta equals 3 over 7. Get theta by itself by taking the inverse sine of each side. This gives us the reference angle, theta equals 25.38 degrees. Position the reference angle within the triangle. The standard position angle is found by subtracting the reference angle from 180 degrees. This gives us 154.62 degrees. The question asks for angles to the nearest hundredth of a radian, so convert each degree to a radian decimal. Multiply 25.38 degrees by the conversion multiplier pi over 180 degrees to get 0.44 radians.
And finally, multiply 154.62 degrees by the conversion multiplier pi over 180 degrees to get 2.70 radians.